sweaters Blow down Blow down Blow down They rock low sweaters Blow down Blow down They rock low sweaters review here we have the brand new Polo Ralph Lauren bicycle hoodie part of the 2019 Polo Country collection believe it or not it's a pretty dope piece um it's the hot new item right now so let's get right into it all right first I'm going to start with the colors okay as you can see, these are the colors are blue, yellow, and red. So these colors are inspired. This color scheme is inspired by the original racing jacket. It was like a paper jacket or you know, a windbreaker jacket. And it had these colors on it. Uh, there was a, a cyclist on the back and there was uh, the words racing were going down the arm. It came out in 1993. That was the inspiration for this piece right here. Okay, the colors are very vibrant. I like the colors. You know, I always like the colors of the original jacket. So, you know, they're paying homage to that and it works well, I would say. All right, next we'll get into the material, okay? It's a very nice cotton material. And it's very soft, extremely, extremely soft material. It's a beautiful material. All right, made in China, of course. One, okay, so it's 98% cotton. It's not too thick. It could be a little thicker. You know, being that it's for the fall, I would have liked it to be a little thicker, but it's, it's very soft. I can't even lie about that. Okay, so now let's get to the graphic, all right? The graphic is uh, into the shirt. I don't know how to, else to say that. It's like, it's not, you can't feel it. You know how sometimes you could feel the graphic, like it's painted on, you know? It's not any of that, and it's not a rubber graphic. They've been using a lot of that rubber. It's, it's not that. It's like probably, you know, digitized into the into the uh, sweat, into the sweatshirt so you don't have to worry about it fading or cracking, okay? As you can see, you know, there's the traditional classic polo. Whenever they do stuff like this, you know, you got polo on the frame, polo on the wheel. Okay, he's wearing polo sport, okay, the shorts. It's big, it takes up the whole front of the shirt, as you can see, you know, pretty dope. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the cuffs. These cuffs seem to be better than the normal cuffs we've been getting. They're, they're not wide, they seem to be more narrow. That's a plus to me, is the other one the same thing. Then you get to the waist. Again, the waist is, it's not that straight waist. A lot of the sweatshirts they've been doing, it's just having a, a straight waist and it doesn't take any form on you when you wear it, it just hangs on you. So this one has, a, you know, the, the waistline is, it's a, it's like an, almost like, not elastic, but it's stretchy and it's, it's it has a form to it, you know? So when you put it on, it's not just gonna droop on you. All right, now we get to the pockets. Let me get to the pockets. There's two pockets on the side. They're pretty deep. Here you go. Just like standard pockets for a hoodie. There's one on each side. Okay, let me just get to this one thing. There's something on the inside and I'm... Okay, see this? They got a strap here, can you see it? Okay, so here's the strap, okay? It connects both of the pockets. At first, I couldn't figure it out, but I, I figured it out. You know, a lot of times you have a hoodie and with these pockets, they'll, you know, move around and it bunches, but they bunch up underneath 
and it looks ends up looking stupid, like frumpy or whatever, you know what I mean? So this is to keep the pockets in place, I guess. That's what I'm gonna assume. What else could it be, see? So they don't get bunched up in there. So that's an excellent idea. They need to do this more often. I like this idea right here. It keeps the pockets in their place so they don't move around underneath the sweater. See that? Connected on both sides. Connected on both sides. All right, that's a good idea, I like that. They should keep doing that. All right, now I wanna to get to the drawstrings. You got yellow drawstrings with the blue markings in it, or whatever you wanna call that, little stars or whatever. And the tips are metal. See the tip? The tips are metal, All right? And it's like ni a nylon rope, like similar to what the high-tech stuff was. All right, now we get to the hood. You know, it's a nice size hood. It's double lined. Inside of it is blue. So it's like a double lined hood. The inside of the hood is the same material as the rest of the sweater, but it's just double lined. It's thicker than the rest. Now, let me get to my only issue with this little, this item here. You get to the tag, as you can see that tag right there, you know, last year there were, you know, with the high tech and with high tech and all the uh, collections, especially like the retro stuff, they gave you this little tag, additional tag with the clothes. You know, high tech had its own one, P-Wing had it, Downhill Ski had it. So this is, they're, they're saying that this is part of Polo Country, okay? And here's the inside tag. This is a, they're giving you the Polo Country tag. My only issue is that I don't, you know, as being somebody who's been a collector for a long, 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 long time, over 25 years, I I don't, you know, this doesn't fit. This sweater doesn't fit the, it's under the wrong banner, as someone told me. It's under the wrong banner. Polo Country was more of a outdoors thing and, uh, you know, camping. Uh, you know, you think of farms, barns, you know, like double RL kind of thing, you know? Actually, when Polo Country went away, that's when double RL came in. So double RL really took the place of Polo Country, if you think about it, okay? Right after uh, country disappeared, that's when double RL appeared. All right, that's my only thing. But you're getting this this uh, polo country tag. Stitching, here's the stitching. It's well put together, it seems. You know, I would it would have been nice if they would have put uh, maybe made this a red stitching to make it stand out. You know, that would have been dope. Red stitching would have nice made it made it pop a little bit more. But this is fine. It's a nice piece, all right? Let's get to the back. On the back, there's really nothing on the back. It's plain. Nothing going on on the back, as you can see. All right, so my overall take on this piece, it's a dope piece. Uh, I would say this is definitely a collector's piece. The more you look at it, the better it gets. You know, at first, when I saw the graphic, I felt the bike, the angle of the bike was a little bit weird. You know, the, you know just, it just looked a little funny at first. But the more you look at it, the more you get used to looking at it, you know, because I felt the wheel, look at the wheel so big in the front. And, and then, it, like, it, it just looked, it didn't look well proportioned. But the more you look at it, the more you understand it, and the more it fits to your eye. That's, well, anyway, for me. Okay? It's a dope piece. Uh, as far as the sizing, it's, it's sized big. You know, it's uh, similar to the Shield hoodie that was out this year. 2019, the gray one with the shield. You know, that whole that whole collection right there was, you know, oversized. So this one is like, a, everything is a size bigger, I would say, you know? It's, it's very big. This is uh, the, 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 the item on the mannequin right here is an extra large, and this mannequin is an extra large mannequin, and you can see how big it still looks on this mannequin. Okay, it's a dope piece. Like I said, it's a collector's piece. It's the hot item of the moment right now. Um, go out there and pick it up, you know? It's, uh, it's very collectible, I would say. And overall, it's a great piece. It's very soft, too. I like the material. What stands out to me is how soft it is. When you get it in, when you get it in your hands, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's extremely soft, all right? So that's it for now. Until the next time, peace.